Hello, everybody. I'm Earth Talk for you. Happy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Earth Talk for you. God damn, I forgot what to say. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Earth Talk for you. Welcome back to Escape from Siberia. Listen to that music. It's so jazzy. Anyways, happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. So far, the Broncos, me, and the Panthers are still playing. Last time I checked, the score was 13-7. to And I am hoping that we actually do well this year. Because 2014 wasn't our best year either. Alright, so last we left off with Escape from Siberia. We met up with Yao and are now on our way to Lev. Also, we were protecting Ifen's hearts from Yao since Yao holds a grudge on everyone, apparently. Yao, yeah, would you just die? Die, Edu! China, no! We're supposed to save those! Too bad! Nah. Hey, that's my fault, Edu. It's the snow you felt. <laughs> Zell, we do not need to use a skill on that one. Shut up, Edu. You two get along. Jeez, what's with everyone in freaking tunnels? I'm gonna skip a lot of battles. I like tunnels. Just. You didn't tell me there were chests, China! Well, you didn't ask. Chests! If you guys know with this game, I love the chestesses. Gotta get all the chestesses. Too many monsters! <laughs> Good lord. So, I just finished watching uh, Kyo's last play of uh, Hit uh, Italian Islands. And it kind of got me in the mood to do some more. Let's Plays. So, I will link her channel down below for you guys, just so you can check her out. I mean, she's played this game before, I know that, but I have the updated version. And it's taking me a long ass time! Also, a little, um, so you know, with... I'm just gonna leave that chest. So you know, it's with uh, Hetta Magic. For some reason, it keeps deleting itself from my computer so I might not be able to finish hit to magic as much as I like to and which sucks because you guys know how much I love playing hit to magic it's my favorite so we're just gonna oh don't go up there Kiku's in the office right now oh let's go this way I love the music so chassis <laughs> I hear my mom yelling at the TV. <laughs> uh, at the end? No. At the pub? Ah! We have to talk to someone and live to try to get this as a strange China side again. Doom Alexia used to be against Siberia security, but after it decided to become loyal to them, they were given several rights and plenty of food. Liv can do the same, Wang Yao. There's nothing good that comes with being against them. So let's go along with them instead. I'm starting to think China's not right in his head if he thinks that being part of Siberia means that you'll disappear. Because everyone else has been a part of Siberia for a, s for a whole century. And they have not disappeared. Hmm. Okay. I forgot what we were supposed to do. It's been like a week. Do you do this? I'm so confused. Mm. Hello. Mr. Honda said as long as we are loyal to Siberia, they will forget. Give everything wrong, everything wrong Leaf has done in the past. Liv already has numerous counts of 
acts disobeying Siberia's security. So if I don't get, so if I don't get sent to the camp by becoming loyal, then I will do so. I don't want to go to camp. You don't want to go to camp? Not so fun. Good, it's not very fun. You are already loyal. Loyal. You're wearing a jacket. My Yao, I'm glad you're back. When I heard you ran away from with those idiots, I was so worried. My dear homeland, isn't our choice the correct pla path? <laughs> path? As long as we obey Siberia's security, we don't have to worry about you getting hurt. That's what you thought. That's what you thought too. So that's so that's why we're so that's why you're back, right, Edu? I'm actually here to talk about that with all of you. Can you have everyone gather in the inn? And don't let the officers find out about this. Alright, Edu. I will gather everyone up then. They are going to be happy to see you. Let's go too before Kiku notices us, Edu. I don't like where this is going. Shush, Edu. I know what I'm doing. What are you gonna do? Nothing, Edu. Some parenting. Parenting! Fligiano. What's wrong, big brother Francis? You're most likely going to see something you won't want to. Prepare yourself. Eh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Wang Yell's possible way of dealing with this. Huh? You two, come inside! I can't afford being seen! Of course, of course, coming in now. Pass the dots. Huh? Town meeting! I like that she stands out the most. I gathered all of you here today to check your current status in the civil matter we have going on. Are you all really willing to bow down to Siberia's ways? Of course I do. By obeying Siberia's security, we will finally get some peace in our li in our own lives, I do. If we try to fight against it, they will destroy you and send us to camp. But if we do, uh, but if we obey them, they will allow us some freedom. Please understand us, Wang Yao. We don't uh, we want to keep you safe, Aru. If you focus on trying to be China, they will hurt you. If you go as Lev, then they will let you live as part of Siberia. But in order for that to happen, we will have to erase our history. All these years of China will disappear. Do you understand, Aru? Wang Yao, I understand it's difficult. But you have to let go of the past. In reality, no one of us remembers China. We were born and live. We were raised in Siberia. It's a bit impossible for us to hold a pride in something we just don't know. Panda dots, I see. This is how long a hundred years really is. It changes so much. Wang Yao? Then I have no other choice. You all are nothing but poison in my body. I will not dispose of all of you. Wang Yao? Why? Too much ruckus. The officers would come. <gasps> Why, my home land? Do you really not know? You tried to sell me to Ivan and throw away your pride. 
I'm not cut enough to support those that aren't useful for me. No. No. <coughs> oh my fucking god. No, my homeland. We, we were just trying to protect you. What you try to do is sell me to Ivan. I don't need you and me. You are nothing but a tumor that needs to be removed. <laughs> I said be quiet. Wait, no! Get out of my way, Feliciano! N no! If I move, then you'll... I told you to obey me and laugh. This is a civil matter. You have no right to tell me what how to fix my problems. Move, Feliciano. Uh, no. No! I really wish this wasn't going to be the outcome. Hey, you. Leave this building with Feliciano right now. Uh, what? You have no right to tell me what to do, you European! If you don't do... If you don't want to, I won't force you. Would you rather die right here by y'all's hands? <laughs> Help me! I don't want to die here! Then let's get out of here! You aren't going anywhere! <laughs> Whoa, no, no! You stay here with me. Let's chat a little bit. Let go of me, Francis! Don't struggle so much. It makes me sad. Let's have an adult chit chat. Run along now, Feliciano. Holy shit! China! Oh my god! Oh! That got very intense. Man, that's sad. Are you okay? Why? Why was Yao so angry? We are doing this for him. Can't he understand? I told you to stay out of my business. And I told you too that I will do as I please. I'm not the type who can just sit back and watch that. I don't care for your government trying to con convince mine. Oh, believe me, it's nothing that's gone. It's nothing that's gone. I'm just a country I love, so I cannot watch you to do something without it. Love? Of course, I was moving with such emotion. I love my citizens. Can I explain that there are two bodies right over there? Can I explain what you just did to... Those citizens you claim to love, the bodies are right over there. Those people sold their prides and became Ivans. They weren't my citizens anymore. God damn, Jenny, you got some commitment issues. What was troublesome was the fact that they thought they were still my people. You have some real issues, China! As long as they thought that. They will affect me. So I had to get rid of them as soon as possible. So you kill them? What they did was not the correct thing, but they still loved you. I don't need fake love. China got some issues, y'all. Uh. Besides, if they really loved me, when I said I didn't approve of what they were going to, what they were doing, they should have shut their mouths and followed my words. Excuse you? As the homeland, I'm very similar to a parent to my to my civilians. My civilians are all my children. Isn't that common sense for children to? I, I dyslexia is kicking in, oh my god. To, to, uh, to live their lives, to dedicate their lives to their parents at all times. Dedicate their lives? Are you telling me that losing their lives at the end for the sake of you is that 
is what they would live for? Cut that crap! Countries are born to protect the civil civilians. How could uh, how could you say otherwise? You're going. You you've got that wrong. Civilians did keep their lives to make the country better. So that's why we protect them. They're going. Uh, there's no need to protect civilians that are not going to do anything for the country. I can all accept that. It was seem so. I can't understand your view either. But one thing is for certain. If I had... Uh, if I had let those people stay, I would have rotted from inside out. If that happened, my loyal citizens would have been without a, without a protection of their country. If I'm sure you know what that means to them, right? Buggy adults. I'm not going to let them be Ivan and Arthur slaves. I will protect my civilians. That's not something you can deny of me. I still don't think it's a good enough excuse to kill your civilians. I don't care if you agree or not. I am. You can tell y'all has seen some fucked up shit during the century. You and I are separate countries. Different landscapes. We have different histories and lands. There's no way we can have the same morals. I beat my children with a slipper. You're right. No matter how how many times, how much times we spent, there's no way we can convince one another. Fun then. I won't say anything anymore. At the same time, you can't either about what, how I do things. Hmm. <laughs> if I ever did, you wouldn't listen anyway, right? Very true. No, then. Big Brother Francis! Where's Wang Yao? Mm. You two, follow me. Do we really have to leave Edu? If you want to stay alive, you can't go back to Wang Yao to live. You understand that, don't you? Old man dots. Go to Ralph and show the people this letter. At the very least, I should let you hide out there. However, if you decide to live there, you must toss away the lifestyle you had here and live. Randolph has one of ways of living. If you're going to criticize that, you have no right to live there. Lady Dots, in the end, it's up to you. You may go to Ralph or somewhere else. Die in the wilderness? Do as your place. Okay. Also, if you'll choose Randolph, I will tell you right now that life is already tough. I'm sure they will provide you with shelter. But, but please do something on your own food. And stay hidden during deliveries. You two look completely Asian. So if I of course sees you and round off, you and everybody there will be in big trouble. If you choose to still go, then go now. We aren't going to escort you there. Understood. We appreciate your help, Europeans. No, um, Francis Budafar and Fritjana Vargas. Do you mind telling Wing Yao something? What is it? That we c can't be his people anymore, but we wanted to live by his side. When I feel up to it. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Bye, Zs! Alright, Fujiano, let's head back. Big brother, I. Fujiano, there's nothing we can do all about what's finished. It hurts, big brother. Oh, I see. My heart thing hurts! Oh my goodness, I had- Why? Mm. There's the bodies! Mm. Are you in here? Hi! I'm 
kind of scared of you now. Did those two leave? Yes. They left your side now. That's fine. I can care less what happens to those who aren't my civilians. I was smacking so much! Path the dots. I wanna smack you, yo! Just. You wants to say something? I know. Uh, that wasn't right. I want to cry. Uh, let's do. I want to cry. I'm scared when you. I want to cry. You're going to make me look like the bad guy. That's fine. I did what I had to do to protect my civilians. Nothing you say will make me regret my decisions. No, when you. I'm not saying you're bad. I am. It's just they were crying. They were scared and hurt. But I couldn't do anything and just watch. And when I think of that, something squeezes in my chest really tight and it hurts. I don't know if I can keep doing this. It really, really hurts. Panda dots. I don't regret my actions. I did what I had to do to protect my civilians, but if I made a different choice sometime in the in the last century, perhaps there may have been a choice, a chance those people are still my civilians today. Oh, and y'all. All right, time to go to the tortoise. Do do do. Shh. Time travel. I don't know how Doctor Who works. <laughs> I miss the old days. Those days back in my land with my people. But this isn't the time to be reflecting on memories. I need to get back to my land, no matter what it takes. I don't care what I have to do, what I have to cut down. If it means it keeps me if it means keeps me being myself. Wang Yao. Do you want to cry too? Well, n no! Now's not the time. Okay. But those people who left, they said that they wanted to always be with you. To live their lives alongside with you. Is that so, Edu? What have I done? Come back, Edu! Idiots! <laughs> oh! Wow, five hours? Seems like forever. You can say that again. It feels like forever. What? Officers? Hello, Wing. Oh, the Japanese. Hello, Wing Yelson and friends. Siberia's headquarter, Rita. Mr. Kikuhanda is expecting you. Please come to the Rev office. K Kiko is calling us? Indeed. We would have preferred to bring you straight to the office, but Mr. Honda was kind of was kind enough to say he'd wait for you to finish your business. Kiko knew we were here? He uh he read ahead of us. He read the script. In case you are how wondering we have no right, you have no right to turn down this car. So, shall we head over? Don't touch me, Edu! No, don't part of my shots, he'll stretch it! Kiku. Hi! This is actually, we're gonna pause this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this ends very well. I'm gonna talk for you. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Zs.